Hi, it's Phil Dooley here from EFTA, uh, and we're doing some work on remote handling today at JET with this piece of kit from our Fusion Expo. I've got a remote handling expert, Tim Powell, joining me to help me out. Tim, thanks for coming along. Hello. So, Tim, tell me what remote handling is. Well, remote handling is a means of going into vessel and doing all our maintenance, repair and upgrade work without the use of humans. So, how does, how does remote handling work? Well, basically we have two uh, articulated booms that come in from either end of the vessel and on the end of one of them we have two arms with grippers on the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the other one? On the other one we have a basically a large toolbox uh -huh. that brings in all our tiles, tooling. So how, how similar do you think this is to the real thing? Uh, it is very similar, but we have more views in vessel. Mm -hmm. So you can... Uh, depth of view is a lot better. Right, okay, yes. so this is probably harder. Indeed, yes. Right, a bit more of a challenge, but I'm up to it, I'll give it a go, if you'll help me out. Yeah, I will, yeah. Okay. Alright, so, so Tim, show me what I have to do here. Right, so basically what you need to do is pick up the tiles and put them in the corresponding slots. Yep. They are coloured, yep. uh, but only using this monitor here. Okay, no, looking, looking, no, no looking down no, there, no. okay. Alright, off we go. Alright, I'll start with the green one. And see if I can get it into the green hole. Oh, nearly. There we go. That's kind of, yeah, I think I did it. Yeah. All right. Now I'll go for the curved one into the curved hole. Do you think that's good enough? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in? Um, mm. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Look, just for the sake of the argument, let's keep going. Is that good enough? Do you think that's in well enough? Yeah, I think that one's in, yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. All right, go for the next one. But this one doesn't have a special tag on it, so I can't even lift it. Oh dear, mm. time's run out before I've even lifted it off. Mm. I'm not real good at this, it's quite clear. So uh, how about you show me how it's done? Yep, okay. Uh, and we'll get things ready. Mm. Very gently done, popped it straight in. Okay, the curved one. Oh yep, nestles it in. Very nicely done. But the view's a bit different. The view is very different, yeah. We're only having one view. Oh, look at that, straight in. Okay, now we're on to the hardest one. Uh, looking good. There we go. Well done. That was an amazing performance, Tim. Congratulations. Thank you. You must be a professional at this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see how the real thing works. Can we go have a look? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go. All right, where are we, Tim? Right, so now we're in the uh, remote handling control room. This is where we do all the operations for in-vessel work. Mm -hmm. So uh, where's the actual work going on? The vessel is through that wall over there. It's about a metre and a half thick through two large double doors. OK, so quite a big team here. What does everyone do? The, the boom operator will get the mascot operator to where he needs to be, where the work is. Uh -huh. uh, and then the Octon 1 boom operator will bring the work round to him in a large toolbox. Right separate operator for each boom, each boom and another person operating the grippers yeah and uh, got plenty of views here which we didn't have on our experiment yeah on this bank here in front of the mascot they are mainly on the actual boom itself mm -hmm. uh, on the octant one station over there you have a, another series that are in the enclosures in the mm -hmm. vessel and on the end of the boom as well. Mm -hmm. And what about up on the big screen? Up on the big screen we usually have a, a VR which is a real-time virtual reality system which tracks the boom wherever it is in the vessel. Right, okay. So if we can't see it on the cameras we can still track it through VR. Right, so you need plenty of eyes watching in, all yeah, the different yeah, that's right, cameras. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So what does it actually feel like operating the gripper? The, the mascot can be, it is uh, very sensitive. Yeah. yeah. It can, we can uh, do uh, bolts and unbolt things as well, so right. it, you, you can really feel when you're doing something up and unscrewing something, you can right. really feel it. So you've got the, the feedback 
of it's of a force going. feedback system right. yeah so we can feel when bolts are going tight you can actually feel uh -huh. it in real time right okay is it hard work are you actually wrestling with it can be very hard work yes yeah. But uh, we have a ratio system which we can uh, make things a lot lighter. Right. So if we're picking up something very heavy, then the actual machine will do all the work for right. you. So basically. you can make yourself much stronger. You can do, yeah. yeah, very okay. good, yeah. <laughs> what sort of weights do you have to lift? Uh, I think the largest weight we have to lift is it will be 65 kilos. Wow. And that's okay. one of the tungsten uh, diverter tiles. Right, tungsten's yeah. very dense. Yeah. Very, very heavy, yeah. yeah. So is that the, the project you're working on at the moment? Uh, the project at the moment, we've recently done a year-long shutdown last year uh, where well, we installed lots of new uh, new tiles into the vessel mm -hmm. so this year we are taking out a lot of uh, the sample tiles to see how they're coping right with a year of experiment with a year of experiments right. yeah okay mm -hmm. sounds like a big project i better let you get on with it okay thanks for your time okay cheers bye we hung around for a while to watch tim in action as well as two arms to control there are foot switches which are used for locking the arm or the gripper or constraining the movement of the system. They're also used to switch on or off power to tools being used inside the vessel. Here, he's attaching a new tungsten tile to the bottom of the fusion vessel, the area known as the diverter, having removed a previous one for analysis.